Come back to library, Chelsea to China. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful mermaid skirt with long train. Okay, so this is the train here. I'll be taking us through how to cut and sew this directly on our fabric. This is a very simple tutorial and it is beginner friendly. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Mermaid skirt, the measurements we'll be working with. Uh, our waist measurement. So the first one I'll be marking is my waist to hip. So the waist to hip measurement I'm working with is seven inches. And by the way, I folded both front and back together for this one waist skirt. So this is my front, and then for the back you can see I marked my zipper allowance before placing my front on it. So now I'm going to be taking my waist to hip measurement, and that is seven inches for me. And then from there, I'll take my waist to knee measurement. So the waist to knee measurement that I'm working with is actually 21 inches. But because this is a mermaid skirt, and like I explained in the first type of mermaid skirt that we have on the channel, which is a cut together tail, I don't like to start the flare, the flare part of the skirt exactly on the knee. So it's half more fitting when you move up by maybe two or three inches away from the knee. It's easier for the person to walk and then it gives the skirt more fitting so instead of marking to at 21 i'm going to be marking that at 19 inches and then i'm going to the next marking that i'm going to do is my full length so after that i'm done with my fist, uh, my vertical markings and the full length i'm working with is 46 inches which is here so i'll mark that also and then i'm going to make everything into a straight line so i have my full length here I have my waist to knee measurement here then I have my waist to hip measurement so after marking that the next measurement I will marking is my waist circumference measurement the waist circumference that's the round the waist measurement the waist circumference I'm working with is 29 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 7 and quarter so I'm going to mark 7 and quarter here and then I'm going to add 1 inch allowance for that so that's one inch for my dart and then i'm going to add my seam allowance so the seam allowance doesn't have to be too much you can do one one and a half or two inches so i'll be doing one and a half inches for my seam allowance and then i'll move over to my waist so to my hip sorry the hip circumference i'm working with is 39 inches 39 divided by five is going to give me nine and three quarter so here i'm going to be marking my nine and three quarter here and then there's no that the that is not going to be reaching the hip measurement so i will not add any that allowance i'm just going to add my seam allowance there and then i move over to my knee so for the knee measurement depending on how fitted or tapered you want it to be normally i subtract one and half from my hip measurement so the hip measurement i work with is nine and quarter so now subtracting one and half from one nine and quarter is going to give me around eight and three quarter or you can just mark it at eight inches but you can subtract one if you don't want it too fitted okay or if you want it more fitted you can even subtract up to two it gives the skirt more fitting but you have to consider the person that is going to wear it also so after that now i'm going to connect all this together so i'm connecting my hip to my waist and then from there i'm going to connect from my waist to my knee using this curve drill i can see that it just gives me a perfect curve so on my knee also i'm going to be adding a seam allowance of one and a half inches and then i'm going to connect my seam allowance also so i'll connect from the waist first to the hip and then from the hip i'll connect it to my knee okay so this is done now now i'm going to move now and work on the lower part so the next is to get the measurement for the lower part normally it depends on how full you want it to be or the amount of fabric you have to work with so for me normally i just multiply by my hip measurement by maybe two or two and a half inches depending on the amount of fabric i have so the hip measurements i'm working with now is around nine and three quarter which is almost 10 inches so multiplying by by two is going to give me 20. so here now let me see if i half up to 20 inches okay i have around 20.5 but remember i, I still have allowance to add 
So I'm just going to be leaving it at 19 inches. But you just know how, if you want it really full, you just multiply by two and a half or even three inches. But two inches is moderate. So now I'm marking that. That's my each measurement multiplied by two. That is what I've marked here. And then the next thing now is to take my ruler now and then connect from my my knee measurement in a diagonal way to my hip okay so we are drafting a mermaid skirt with a separate tail so we are going to be cutting a goddess as our tail the first one we did was a mermaid skirt with a cut together tail so here now i have my full skirt so on the hemline here because i don't like it too sharp i'm just going to go up by maybe two inches or three inches so two and a half is fine for me and then after marking the two and a half inches then i'll take the curved slightly curved side of my ruler and then connect it back to the hem of the skirt okay so this also helps especially if the skirt is really really if the skirt is wide so going up here will not let your skirt be having this funny shape so that this place will not be looking longer than the center front so now i have my full skirt like this and then i'm going to cut it now so cutting it out remember i placed the front and back together so it means i'm cutting both my front and back but before i cut it out remember the one and a half inches that i had it as my allowance here i'm just going to add that also on this part to my lower part and then I'm going to connect that also. Okay. So I'll connect that and then I'm going to cut out this skirt. Okay, so remember it stops here. So I'm just going to connect it like this. So now I'll cut out my skirt before we work on the tail part. So this is what this full skirt is looking like you can see the hem and then you can see the so we've cut out our skirt now and the next thing now is to remove the front so that we can work on the back okay so once i remove the front you can see what we have on the back and this is our seam allowance so now the major focus is on the lower part of the back so as against the one we did earlier where we cut our tail together here we're going to be cutting a separate tail for this in form of a goddess so for my goddess to sit very well i don't want it looking different from the skirt i'm going to on this m line part of the skirt remember on the zipper allowance area so from where my zipper allowance measurement is I'm going to be measuring around 6 inches or 7 inches inwards like this. So let's say I'm working with 6 inches. I'll mark 6 inches inwards. And then on the upper part, remember, depending on where you want your, your goddess to start from, but it is more beautiful it starts, if it starts from underneath your bone. Okay? So remember our hip, our hip line measurement, that is the fullest part of your hip. It's around seven inches so if you want this and this is our knee measurement so you can decide to go up from your knee measurements by maybe two inches or three inches or you can make it sit exactly on the hip measurement on the knee measurement but if it's underneath the butt a bit it gives more fitting so i'm just going to go up by around one or two inches here and then from there i'm going to connect it to this marking this is this marking that i have there so i'll connect this and make it into a straight line okay so this is what i have and i'm going to be cutting this off so this is where i'm going to be placing my goddess so now I'll cut this out and then I'll set it aside now so that we can cut out the tail that we want to add to this mermaid skirt. Okay, so this is cut now and this is what we have. So now I remove this now and then cut out the tail. 
So for the goddess, I'm going to get another piece of fabric like this. And then I'm going to be folding it in a, tri in a triangular form so you can see what I have. I'm just going to fold this fabric in this way to form like a triangle. Okay. So after folding it, I'm going to be placing it on the table like this. So now the measurement that I need for this, your, your skirt measurement, the length that you cut from that place is very, very important. Remember, this is the back of the skirt. Okay, so this is the center back where we cut out this measurement and then you're going to be sewing this goddess back to the skirt. So this measurement is actually very, very important. That's the measurement you will use for the open part of this goddess. Remember, this part is the center back where it will be closed and these two open parts is where you're going to be sewing it to these two openings that you have at the center back of your skirt. So after laying this down very well, I'm going to be placing that pattern Okay, so I've laid this out now. So I'm going to bring my skirt pattern or you can just measure whatever you have on that back opening, which is this, where we slashed it at the center back. Okay, so this point, where well, I went in by six inches and then I went up here for my new measurement then I slashed it diagonally. So that measurement is what I'm going to be using to cut out this open part. So I'm just going to place it on that part now and then i'll mark it so this measurement is important like i said because they are going to be showing this goddess back to the skirt so they have to be the same and accurate so once i measure it like that i'm okay so i have this measurement now so all this now is what is going to be falling back on the toe of your skirt that's your center back so it now depends on how big you want it to be so i just want to check the measurement that i have here here yeah, I have around 13 2 inches so from there now I'll start increasing my measurements so from 32 inches now from I'm measuring from this apex point that's the, oh, the starting point of the of the triangular flare that I have so I have 32 here here I'll increase it to 34 then again I'm going to increase it to 37 so this is a tutorial i'm not going to be making it too big so from that 37 again i increase it to maybe 40 okay and then i'm going to be connecting them to each other like that okay then i'll mark again so here the highest measurement that i want to work with is around maybe 48 or 49 inches you can do more or less the more the bigger this place is the more uh, width you will have that the more fullness you will have as the tail of your skirt so from there i'm just going to connect it like that and this is the shape that i have i hope you can see it well i'm sure by the time i cut it out we'll see it better so now using my scissors i'm going to cut this out so i'm going to be cutting out this shape now and like i said it can be bigger than this i'm just using it. so you can see that what we have here is smaller than what we have here so you can see the shape that this is giving us i hope you can see it. you can see how it just sways to the back like that and this place here is what i'm going to be showing to my center back so you can see how my center back is going to be continuous so this that's why i said this has to match so you can see so by the time we sew this all this excess is going to be forming all this excess that we have here is going to be forming detail for us so when we take this to the mannequin after we sew it i'm sure we will see it better so now the next process is to start to sew so let me just explain how we are going to be sewing this remember this is our back piece and it's going to be two we will slash this open because the zipper is going to be going through there so now if i open it up let me just fold in my zipper allowance so you can see this is what i was talking about i just want this goddess to sit through so it's better for you to slash slant it the way we slanted it instead of it to just be straight like that so that it can accommodate this new pattern that we are bringing in which is the goddess so now this is the 
starting point of the goddess so we are going to be sewing this side to to the skirt on this side and then the other side also we're going to be sewing it to the second part of the skirt because that is that was why we used that measurement to cut that part and then we'll have this excess flowing down like that so now i'll take this to the machine now so that we can start to sew so i'll start sewing this now so this is the first one i'm just going to take the goddess now and then i'm going to sew it to the first one like this okay so i'll sew it from the hem all the way to the to the center back here where the zipper allowance stops and then i'll bring it back to show us how i'm going to sew the second one so the first part of the first part of the goddess have been sewn now so you can see what we have so see the shape this is giving us like a triangular shape at the back so now the next thing is to bring in the second part of the skirt okay so and to sew this now i'm just going to be placing this on this first part now and then i'll sew in the zipper allowance up to i'll leave in my zip i'll leave I'll measure like 7 or 8 inches for my zipper then I'll start sewing from where the zipper is going to stop all the way from here so when I get to this place I'm just going to shift this goddess where I've sewn to the side then I'll exclude, I'll take this together with it and then sew it to the hem also like this I hope you understand what I'm talking about so I'm going to place, this is one part of the center back I'm going to place the other part on it like this, like I was explaining earlier. And then I'm going to measure where my skirt is going to stop. And then from there, I'll start to sew. So from that point where my skirt zipper is going to stop, I'll measure in one and a half inches. If you are not sure, you can take your tape, but I can just eyeball the one and a half inches. And then now I'm going to sew it like that. So with my one and a half inches same allowance. So when I get here, I'm just going to push this aside now and then continue sewing my goddess. So that is what I'm going to do. So from here now I will sew. Then when I get to the goddess part, I'm just going to push this side aside and then I'll continue to sew. You can see I'm just using my finger to push it aside and then I'll continue sewing my goddess downwards like this. So I'm on the goddess now and then I'm sewing it downwards. Okay, so you keep sewing it till you get to the end point. So at the end point, they have to match each other because we remember we used this side to cut it on that point. So they have to match like this. You sew it. So once you turn it to the other side, it is what it's going to look like. You can see the V shape that we have there. So now the next thing is for you to take the dart, both the, the front and back, and then you cut the front and back together and then join it on the sides. Okay, so now I'm going to have to sew in my dart so you can see the dart for both front and the back. And then using the allowance that I left here, the one and a half inches allowance, I just sew it on the side. So now the next thing is for, this is what the back is looking like. And this is the long tail. You can see how long it is. So it can be longer than this. You just need to increase it just the way I showed us during drafting. So now I'll take this to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what our skirt is looking like. The dart is sewn as you can see. And you can see that the front is just a simple A line, not too much, and it's just on the knee, on the floor area. It's not too long. So the person can work easily in it. And the back is the one with the long train. 
so you can see the train that we have at the back and then i'm going to turn it to the back so that we can see it better well this is what it's looking like from the front view and so this is the back i'm here to fix a zipper so i just held the zipper allowance with a pin and you can see this is where we attach the goddess so like i was saying i went upwards from my knee measurements by one, two inches so if you want it to be right under the butt which is here you can go up as high as four inches or as the case may be so this is the train you can see how long it is even with the small measurements that we use so if you want this train longer than this all you just need to do is to increase your measurements just the way i have taught us so you can see how simple it is to make this i hope you enjoyed making this with me if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye